Alright, so here's a quick video on changing some cables on this uh, control valve. This is a plow truck. He broke the angle. This is plow angle. This is up and down for the plow. This is the dump head. I'm changing all of them because they all look like this. Uh, as you can see here, this aluminum sleeve here and this metal threaded end of the cable um, they don't go well when you try to take them apart. Um, you probably normally got to get everything when you replace these, depending on how much salt your truck sees. But what I do is I just cut the cable. You don't have to worry about threading anything off. And when you get down to this, you got a pin here. Cotter pin goes right on the inside like that and holds everything in. It's a nice setup. All your adjustments here from this aluminum tube. The truck here, as you can see, they just come through the floor and they all bolt together. And, uh, it's not too complicated getting them apart on the other end. I'll show you that. But... This can be a pain if you've never done one before. those removed these are 316s allen's terrible idea to put those on there but just get them out of there with nothing holding that cable on you just slide the whole thing back and you can get your cotter pin out of there and remove the cable <laughs> Here's your buyer's part number for the tube adjustment. Probably going to depend on what, what size length cable it is, but it's just threads on there. You got to put the end back here for the spool valve. Nice cables, pretty easy to do, and they last a long time. So there's the finished product. 
to make adjustments on your cable, your control, the throw on the cable, uh, just twist the tube. So just snug these down so it's tight up against the, you know, snug up against the control valve, but you don't want it too loose. And then you can just put a wrench on here and just use your hand and twist it. And whenever you're, you're happy with the, the throw and the adjustment, tighten your lock nut down and it's done.